PostgreSQL, the most trusted name in open source relational databases. Its development dates all the way back to 1986 at UC Berkeley, under the direction of Michael Stonebreaker. Like other pure relational databases, it stores data in tables, columns, and rows, and uses structured query language to read and write data. However, Postgres is technically an object relational database, which means it can create its own custom data types to store objects with properties and support advanced features like inheritance and polymorphism. When writing data, it runs fully ACID-compliant transactions, but also adds its own special sauce called multi-version concurrency control, which gives each transaction a snapshot of the database, allowing multiple transactions to run at the same time without traffic jams or locks. Developers also love its extensibility. Queries can be reused by writing stored procedures, and it even supports languages beyond SQL like Python and C. And it has a robust ecosystem of extensions, like PostGIS to provide geospatial data for apps like Uber, or Citus to shard and distribute the database to any scale, or PG Embedding to give AI chatbots long-term memory, and the list goes on. To get started, you can download and install it locally, or better yet, use a free cloud database like Neon, which provides auto-scaling out of the box and a nice UI to manage your data, in addition to a bunch of other advanced features like branching. Create a new database, then head over to the SQL editor to run your first query, or connect it to your IDE with an extension like SQL Tools. We could get started by creating a new table, but because this is an object relational database, let's begin by creating a custom data type, which defines the structure of an object with corresponding properties and types. What's awesome about Postgres, though, is that we have more exotic data modeling options, like arrays can be used by putting brackets in front of a type, then make it a two-dimensional array by adding another set of brackets. We also have JSON data types to handle unstructured data, and even key value pairs with extensions like HStore. Now that we have this custom type, we can use it within one or more tables, like one table for programmers and another for designers. Once the table is created, we can then use an insert statement to add a row of data into it. Notice the use of a double colon to cast a string into JSON or HStore types. And now finally, we can read the data with a select statement that uses dot notation to access the properties on our custom object. Every table has a unique primary key, and we can create relationships by storing the primary key from one table as the foreign key on another, like a programmer might own many Lambos. We can then find those Lambos by doing a join query that compares the programmer's ID to the Lambo's owner ID. This has been PostgreSQL in 100 seconds. Big shout out to NeonDB for sponsoring and making this awesome database free to use in the cloud. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.